Hello, New Mexico, and welcome to the Live Sports of New Mexico show. Um, we hope you like the first one. Um, my name is Chris Perez. I got here, uh, Brian Clampin, and we're um, just two former athletes wanting to minister to you guys. And um, today, we're going to go through a few things. We're going to go through um, our tagline or, that says that life is a sport that God wants you to win. We're going to kind of explain um, wh what that means. Um, we're going to go also over s some deaths in, uh, in, um, in athletics in Arnold Palmer and Jose Fernandez and also talk about one of our um, values in, in restoring faith as well. So um, actually Brian uh, helped us come up with this tagline and we thought it was a great idea so um, he's going to kind of explain uh, what, it, what it's about. Yeah, like Chris said, we have a great show today, and our tagline is this, something we want you to know, something you, we want you to remember, what our show is all about, is that life is a sport, and we want you to win, God wants you to win, and you think about stories in the Bible like David and Goliath, you see this normal guy has to fight against this huge giant, and the same kind of thing happens to us in sports, you get the underdog, and you, you, you got the big time school versus the small school. You have the matchups and all these different things and you never know who's gonna win, who's gonna come out on top. And the same thing happens to us from time to time in life. You have the pressures of the world. Maybe you have a big test. Maybe you have something that you need to live up to. It's like a David and Goliath kind of a story. And so these are the things that God wants you to win. He wants you to conquer. He wants you to overcome. Uh, not just on the field, but off the field also. It's, it's, it's life, everyday life. It's a sport. We win some, we lose some, but ultimately, God wants us to win. And, and he lays out uh, in the Bible, in his word, so many different ways, so many different keys uh, for us to be successful, for us to overcome whatever we may face throughout our life. Chris, do you have any more to add on that? Yeah, I was, you know, just kind of thinking about winning. You know, I've been a part of a lot of wins at, at UNM and, 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 and in high school. And the biggest thing I get out of that is what I learned from my losses and, and, and how I figured out um, what I did wrong, what could I have done better. And I just really think that when you, as a winner, you're going to lose some games. If you know how to lose properly, then you're going to know how to win properly as well. Yeah. And so that's how really life is. Life is like if something hits you hard, if you just feel defeated, how do you respond? Are you going to pout about it? Are you going to blame other people? Are you going to blame God? Or are you going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to learn from my mistakes, um, learn from my, you know, whatever I did, and I'm going to just, you know, do better the next time. So I really think losses are the things that really build me up and really um, give you a, me a burning desire to keep wanting to, to win again. I think that's so good. One of the things to remember is that losing doesn't make you a loser. Right. Failing doesn't make you a failure. Right. It's quitting. It's giving up. That will make you a failure. That will make you a loser. So we encourage you, and that's what our show is all about. Keep going. Keep grinding. Keep working hard. You will win some. You will lose some. But if you never give up, you will win. And we see this uh, in, in a great story throughout the Bible with what the Bible is all about, really, with with Jesus. God sent his son Jesus. You see, humanity was on a path towards losing, towards giving up. They were separated from God forever, but God loved people. He loves you, and so he sent Jesus that if you would believe in him and trust in him, we could be restored back to God. We could win at this game called life. So if you're winning at life, if you have Jesus in your life, you'll win. And whatever may come your way, you're going to be all right because he's with you always, and God knows what you're going through. And the same is true in sports. Just don't give up. Just keep going. And on the field, off the field, whatever, you're may, whatever you may face, whatever David, Goliath story uh, is your way, don't give up, and you will win. Right, and like in 1 Corinthians 9.25 says, you know, we do this for an eternal prize. So this is not, I mean, the trophies are great, the championships are great, all those things are great, but it's what we do with them, how we represent ourselves as an athlete, um, for our team, for our school. It's really all about, you know, how, how we represent ourselves. There's a lot of winners, or the, there are a lot of people that win and they don't handle it the right way. There's a lot of people that lose and don't handle, the, handle it the right way. But there are people that do lose and then they end up feeling like they've accomplished something because they've defined their own success. So it's all about finding your success, finding what, what makes you a winner. 
is it just getting up in the morning and, and getting to school? You know, some people, you know, they don't have as much, and, and is it just getting through the day? Is it getting through their job? Something, you know, just find those little winning battles, and eventually you're just going to win in this life. You're going to win with God, and God's going to keep testing your faith, and if you just keep, you know, being successful at those tests, you know, God's going to continue to bless you, and he's going to give you um, eternal life um, in heaven and just really just tell you, well done. So when it, I believe that when God tells me well done, after all the defeats, after all the mistakes I've made, I will totally feel like a winner in that, in that aspect. Yeah, one of the things that comes to my mind, when I was a kid, I played football for the YMCA, and I was a running back, and we were playing against the best team in the league, and they had the best linebacker in the league. This guy was good. He was shutting me down all day long. Whatever way I went, he was there stopping me. One time, though, they took him out. He was taking a rest. I don't know why they did it. But I got the ball on a pitch play. I'm running around the left side, and it's like touchdown all day. I'm running down the sideline. Sure enough, my pants start to fall down. My pants are coming down. I'm freaking out. Like, what am I going to do? Should I step out of bounds? Should I fall down? Like, should I quit? Should I give up? I mean, my pants are coming down. There's people watching. This is crazy. But you know what I did? I just kept going. I scored the touchdown, pants around my knees. And you know, things are going to happen. We're going to have some adversity from time to time, but if, again, you just keep going, find your successes, like Chris said, you will score those touchdowns, you will win those games, and sometimes you just have to look back and laugh at yourself because what you thought was so serious, what you thought was a big deal, really wasn't that big a deal after all. So, Brian, i got to ask you, what was your biggest win in, in your just playing career? Is there, like, a really big win that you were a part of that you just – you just remember for the rest of your life? So the biggest win I can remember, that, or that stands out to me right now, is when in 2007 uh, uh, at UNM on the football team, we won the New Mexico Bowl. It was the first bowl game win for the Lobos in years, or maybe ever. Um, wow. But it was a really exciting time. Yeah. The whole team uh, celebrated, and it was just a pretty special moment. Nice. How about you? For me, uh, we played BYU, and Jimmer Fredette was the best player in the country. We and, you know, we got them. You know, it was a big, you know, the, the, the fans stormed the court. And, awesome. you know, a lot of my friends had, had really big games. And so that, that was real memorable. But this, just our point is that, you know, when, after all that hard work, wins are going to come. And those defining moments in your life are going to come as well. After this, we'll, be, we'll talk about a few deaths in, in, in athletics and Arnold Palmer and Jose Fernandez. So we hope you stay tuned and kind of uh, see what we have to say about that. Get into the game. Garden Schwartz Team Sales features fine products and apparel from Wilson, Shutt Sports, Speedline, and Russell Athletics. We offer custom embroidery and screen printing services for all of your school or club needs, from team uniforms to school letter jackets. Specializing in all sports and serving all communities, from big schools to small schools, from up north to down south, or all points in between, Garden Schwartz Team Sales has the products and professional services you'll need to be your best. For great prices, friendly staff, and quality products, call Garden Schwartz Team Sales today at 1-800-880-7767. That's 1-800-880-7767. Since 1939, Garden Schwartz Team Sales is a proud supporter of New Mexico Youth Athletics. Shut the Chef Up takes healthy meal preparation out of your kitchen and into ours. Dude, this is about a cup and a half of turkey. Every meal created and cooked by professional chefs. You can order as much or as little as you want from our six rotating menus. We offer custom meals based on your macros, your food allergies, or other dietary restrictions. And never worry about what you're putting in your body. Shut the Chef Up offers delivery service in the Albuquerque area at no added cost. Go to shuttheshefupnow.com to learn more. Dr. George Strip, the ultimate sports chiropractor, is a proud sponsor of ProView Sports. For 34 years, he has been the chiropractor for sports injuries, soft tissue, muscle fatigue, muscle sprains, neck and back injuries. Dr. Stribling specializes in a kinesio taping technique that is designed to facilitate the body's natural healing process while providing support and stability to muscles and joints without restricting the body's range of motion. Sports injuries are Dr. Stribling's specialty.
I'm Ben Lucero, president and owner of Indigo Mortgage. We are a locally owned and operated mortgage company right here in New Mexico. This means your loan officers and processors are right here to serve you. Our mortgage divisions include residential, commercial, construction, reverse mortgages, and VA mortgage loan. Indigo Mortgage, because nobody cares more about your mortgage loan. Folks, there's no other way but to be all in. Either he's Lord of all or he is not Lord at all. And you can experience the real and authentic, true life change that only God can provide to humanity. See, when we truly encounter Jesus and purpose to know him and follow his teachings, hashtag life change will occur. Welcome back to the Life Sports of New Mexico show. Um, we just want to continue to encourage you that life is a sport that God wants you to win. Um, just keep fighting those battles, keep winning those battles, and God's going to reward you. He's going to bless you. Uh, for this part of the show, we'd like to talk about just a few athletes that have, have passed away in the last week. Um, the first one we'd like to talk about is Arnold Palmer, a really great golfer. And, you know, he's just someone that, you know, I saw that, you know, crowds just kept following him. There's, that just they they loved what he did. He brought entertainment to the sport of golf. Really changed the game. And you know, he's someone that I didn't really see live, but I did see you know and hear what he was about and what he did for the game of golf. And and one quote I really that stuck to to me was, he said, "It's funny that the more I practice, the luckier I get." So I'm thinking. Man, I think that's pretty true. The more time I spent in the gym, the more time I worked hard, I think God was benefiting me, benefiting me and he was giving me the results I wanted and giving me the wants I wanted uh, to be a part of great teams, to be a part of championships, all these different things. And, you know, people may say that, you know, I've got lucky to where I've gotten, but I just think it's because of my work ethic and just my, my faithfulness um, in, in the sport and in, in all sports. You know, you could do it in any sport. Um, just, just continue to work hard and I, I think that's going to be your ticket into where you want to get to. So Arnold Palmer, what a great golfer, what a great person, um, someone we could all still learn from. His quotes are, are all over the place, and he's someone that you, I, I encourage you to really look up and see what he did, uh, not only for golf, but for sports as well. He definitely uh, was a game changer. Yeah. He changed <laughs> the game, uh, especially the game of golf, but, but, but all sports really. He was a, a, a class act and just uh, so incredible all of his accomplishments through the years and uh, one of course being maybe the greatest beverage oh yes of, of all time and if I didn't talk about it then I would regret it so yeah. <laughs> if you haven't had an Arnold Palmer half tea half lemonade next time you go out to a restaurant you need to order it do yourself a favor uh, you will enjoy so uh, Arnold Palmer rest in peace yes another death um, of an athlete is happened real sudden, happened real tragically to Jose Fernandez, a pitcher for the Miami Marlins, um, had a boating accident and it was sudden, great player, had so much potential. And I think that's what people are wondering now is what could have been for him and that's, I think that's the sad part about it. Um, but it was really amazing for me to see how athletes just throughout the whole, of all sports, uh, people were coming together and say, "Hey, we're right. praying for you. Yeah. We, you know, we're on social media. We're we're praying for you. We sit, send our condolences, and even other athletes that you know they played against the Marlins. They didn't, you know, like fa some of them didn't like facing Jose Fernandez, but they knew that you know this, this sports is bigger than you know yeah. the, just the game. It's 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 a life thing, and so it, it just it was really cool to see other athletes come together and see." how they responded, how they, even though we compete against each other as athletes, they come together and they say, you know what, we're here for you and, and we want to help you. So I just think that's a, a beauty of sports is even though you right. play so hard against each other, you're able to say, you know what, let's stop for a minute and let's, you know, let's really think and meditate and see what we can do uh, for his family, for, yeah. for the organization. So I just, I just encourage you guys as, as athletes and as coaches that just know that you know, it's bigger than just the game. You know, help each other, help each other get better. That's right. And 
you know, one of the things that I think we can learn from this situation is that uh, what we always say, life is a sport, um, but life is a team sport. It's so important that uh, we reach out to our teammates and our coaches whenever we're going through things. You know, you hear about Jose Fernandez and all the struggles that he was facing and the issues that he was having, all these personal things. And the truth is, if we're honest, is that we all have those things. We all have issues. We all have struggles. No one's perfect and no one's immune to any of these things. But if we try to deal with it all by ourselves, it's going to hurt us. We'll, we'll lose. That's why our teams are so important. Uh, we need each other. You know, we should choose we over me. Uh, mm -hmm. We're better together than we are by ourselves. And, you know, Chris, some of the best teams I've ever been a part of had that family dynamic, had that family atmosphere. Right. There was a close, tight-knit bond. And so it's my uh, heart, it's our heart to encourage you that if you're going through something, if you have an issue, if you have a struggle and, and you're trying to deal with it all by yourself, don't. Reach out to a teammate, reach out to a coach, and if you have no one that you can go to, reach out to us. We both are pretty active on social, um, all the networks, and um, Chris, you want to share yours? Yeah, so I have on Twitter, I'm at at C underscore P underscore two. Um, if you want to reach out to me on Instagram, I'm at C Perez zero two. And mine is at Brian Smooth, and that's Brian with a Y. Brian Smooth, and you know, hit us up, send us a message, and we'll do our best to respond, to pray for you, uh, to reach out back to you, because we want to be there to help, because we know that, again, life is a team sport. We're better when we're together, when we come together. Don't try to do it all by yourself. Um, you need your team. Right, and, and you know, as athletes, you compete for playing time, even with your own teammates. And I remember when I was in college, I was the last one in the gym, and I was in there getting shots up, and then one of my teammates, he's walking by you know, the practice gym, and he's in his street clothes, and, he's, and he goes, no. He goes right back into his locker room, puts on his, his basketball clothes again, and he starts working out and says, I'm not going to let you outwork me. And I really think that just got us both better, because we both just were so competitive with each other that we wanted to get better, so I want to be better than him, or I want to work harder than him. So we just kept you know, moving up you know, in, in our work ethic, and I really think it blessed both of us, that even though we were competing you know, to be the, you know, the hardest worker on the team, we really did get each other better. So I think that's what that family dynamic or that helping each other out dynamic, um, just work harder than the next person. Don't try to hold them back. Don't try to hold anyone back. Just say, you know what? You, you challenge me, I'm going to challenge you back. You know, just keep having that dynamic as an athlete and as a coach. So I just really encourage you guys to have that you know, with the teammate, with the whoever. Just get a workout party. Get somebody that you want to be better than and then just keep you know, battling against each other. I think that's a healthy way to compete. That's, that's right. And we mm. talk about how the Bible is the key to us winning. And, and it mm. talks about that very thing. In the book of Proverbs, it says that iron, or as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens one another. Right. We're better when we're at this thing together. Well, hey, we hope you're enjoying the show so far. Uh, next up, to wrap it up, we got some uh, fun stuff to talk about. Hey, what happens when we do blow it? What happens when we do mess up, when we do fall down? What do we do? What then? What next? So we want to answer some of those questions. So stick around, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Well, I'm going to the frontier, walking to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, one scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. Meet my family, meet my friends in the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been. All of Albuquerque's favorite spot, it's the Frontier Restaurant. Christy May's Restaurant is locally owned and operated with a family-friendly atmosphere. Their array of homemade comfort food is just like your mom's. From homemade chicken pot pot to their famous chicken salad on a croissant, Christy May's even offers lunch catering. Christy May's Restaurant is located at 1400 San Pedro Drive Northeast. They offer drive-in, carry-out, and catering. Open Monday through Saturday, 1030 a.m. to 8 p.m. At ProView Networks, we get better every day. For example, we've got some interns that are just fired up.
Bird. Hey, what's up? All right, got a list for you. Okay. Need it done by the end of today. Don't forget the coffee. Okay. <sighs> hey, Jason. You got your coffee, got all the stuff you need on the list. Okay, wow. Good job, Bird. Football's back. ProView Networks live every week on Comcast 26, all brought to you by Crown Jewels and Coin. Crown Jewels and Coin for all you treasure. Stop living with summer heat. Get a super efficient AC systems from Sunshine Plumbing and Heating and eliminate all worry for a full 10 years. Now that's a bold guarantee. Call now and get your free system design consultation and learn more about how our bold guarantee can help eliminate your worry for a full 10 years. Comfort you can afford. Call Sunshine Plumbing today, 296-3188. Folks, there's no other way but to be all in. Either he's Lord of all or he is not Lord at all. And you can experience the real and authentic, true life change that only God can provide to humanity. See, when we truly encounter Jesus and purpose to know him and follow his teachings, hashtag life change will occur. Hey, welcome back to Life Sports of New Mexico. We are so glad that you're hanging out with us today. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. And as we wrap up today, we want to uh, kind of talk about what happens when we blow it. What happens when we fail, when we mess up? How do we get back up? How do we move forward? How do we get better? So Chris, I want to know, when is the time when you just totally blew it? Like embarrassing moment, blew it, messed up, and then what did you do? Man. It was, you know, I remember in college, you know, it's my first year and, you know, practice is usually about two hours after my classes. So I try to take a little nap and one, I, I slept through, you know, I slept through practice, uh, you know, pretty badly. You know, I was, I was about 30 minutes late and I showed up just panicking. I was like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I told him I just fell asleep. I didn't know what to do. And, you know, coach is really gone on me about that but then you know it, it was something that you know I just don't like being late you know especially for practice especially at that magnitude and you know and with coach Alfred he's really strict about that so I just really kind of just made sure you know hey be on time set alarms do whatever you, ha you have to do um, to get better at that so that really helped my punctuality is this you know even though I made a mistake I was able to say you know what I'm just not gonna do that again I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice and so yeah, that was just something that, that happened to me. What about you? Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can even remember all the... <laughs> yeah, those are the ones you don't want to remember. The, the mistakes yeah. that I made. Uh, I remember one time in high school, we were playing uh, against a school in South Dallas. I'm from Dallas, and, and I throw like four interceptions in a row, maybe five. I <laughs> can't even remember, it was so many. Just interception, interception, interception. I was like, this is terrible. I'm right. the worst player ever. So I just figured, you know what? I'm, I'm not even going to throw it anymore. I'm, mm -hmm. just, I'm going to run it. Mm -hmm. And Chris, you, you're, you're with me today. I'm a big, slow white guy. Mm -hmm. So running is not my, <laughs> running is not my thing. But, but I pulled it down. I didn't throw another interception. I ran and I had like the run of the season, like wow. dodge, like <laughs> all kinds of yards up, up the middle. And I was like, yes, I'm, yeah. I am fast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, but. But it's just one of those things, hey, when you do mess up, you got to get back up and you got to move forward. Yeah, right. I threw a whole lot of interceptions, but you know what? I made some adjustments and then made it happen. And that's really the key, I think, is that we have to make adjustments. Right. When, oh, we, yeah. when we fail, when we mess up, because we all will, yeah. we've got to make adjustments, maybe tweak some things, do things a little bit differently. That's what halftime is all about, the beauty of halftime, making adjustments so you can get better for the second half. And so the same in, in, in our life, we gotta make adjustments. We have those, those breaks where we can evaluate things and fix things and make the adjustments we need to make so we can get better, so we can be restored and, and our faith can be restored in, in who we are and who God is. Yeah. And that's and kind of our core value of the show. Right, and it's a lot of coaches that I played for, 
they say the most important part of the game is the third quarter. It's the one who comes out with the adjustments after halftime, who's the one you know, that says, you know what, even though we're down, can we come back? Or if you're up, do you just play to keep a lead or do you actually try to keep, continue to play to win? So I think that's right. what it is in life. When we have that halftime moment, we have that meditation or that prayer moment with God, it's like, all right, tomorrow's a new day. What adjustments can I make? And, and I really think about this way, and this might help you guys, is that I think God just gives us these breaking points. So, break, so we have these breaking points. Do we break down or do we break through it? That's good. So basically, it's if you just have this breaking point and say, man, we just lost, or I just lost my job, or I got this bad grade, do you just break down and just give up and say, you know what, it's not even worth it? Or the breakthrough times is when you say, you know what, I know I made a mistake. I'm not going to make it again. I'm going to find a new way to do it. And I'm even doing that as a teacher. I know there's, I'm a new teacher and I'm learning um, how, to, how to teach. You know, I was a student for so long. Now I got to be able to be a teacher and how I can prepare my students better. How can I teach them better? How can they understand the material I'm teaching them better? Um, so it's always those points like, man, I, I'm not, giving, I'm not getting the results I want, or I'm not getting the things I want. What can I do? What adjustments can I make? And so when you think about that, that's your breakthrough times. And when you keep breaking through, God's just going to keep strengthening you, strengthening you, and he's going to keep blessing you because he knows that you can handle it. He gives his toughest battles to his, to his strongest soldiers. So make sure when you, you, you be that strong soldier, you be the one that says, you know what? I'm going to break through. I'm not breaking down. I'm not letting the devil talk to me like that. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to break through. Yeah. No more breaking down anymore. Yeah. And, and if you're a coach or a player out there, I want you to remember this, that, that a setback is nothing more than a setup for an incredible comeback. Break through those times. Maybe you've been losing. Uh, maybe your stats have been down. Whatever it is, maybe you haven't been getting that much playing time. Hang in there because that setback, whatever you're facing, it's only going to be your setup for a great comeback. It's going to be your, your breakthrough moment. So work through those things. And what's so big, Chris, and maybe you can speak to this a little bit, is our perspective, how we view things. I think we think our problems sometimes are so big. How are we going to get through it? How are we ever going to uh, beat this? How are we ever going to get over this problem? There's no way. I see no way around it. But when we just change our perspective and understand that everything is a learning opportunity, right. everything is a growing opportunity, then no matter what we face, um, God will always use it to make us better, to make us stronger. And you talked about that earlier in the show. Oh, yeah. And I always think, I mean, you're going to get big problems. You're going to think they're really, really big problems. But no, none of them are going to be bigger than our God. Our God is so much bigger than you, than you can imagine. He's the one that could turn anything around. You know, you always see that. You always, as a coach, I know you probably think of that perspective. You're having a losing season. It's just, well, how can we turn this around? How can we do something with this? Um, so I think that's what really the heart of, of what we're trying to tell you guys is there's always a way to turn it around and you just got to keep meditating and praying on God's word and just really think like what can I do there's always something that God just has an answer he always does that's his infinite wisdom is that he does have an answer to any of your problems that you have you know he looks at your problems and think oh, I got that taken care of I can help you you know there's not any problem that God says well you're on your own so just we just want to keep encouraging you um, to, to understand that to understand that there is something for you. And uh, I want to read a verse for you, Proverbs 24, 16, uh, from the NIV Bible reads, For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again, but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. And also the NLT Bible says, The godly may trip seven times, but they will get up again, but one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. So you see, if you're not with God, you're going to stumble, you're going to fall, you're going to break down. But with God, you know, if you fall seven times, you fall a hundred times, you're always going to get back up again. So that's what our heart is here. We want to teach you and we want to encourage you that you can get back up again. If you're with God, there's, no, there's nothing impossible. You could always find a way to turn it around and break through those moments. And I heard this before, I think it's so good, that faith is simply believing no matter what. Right. Believing no matter what. Believe in yourself no matter what. Believe in God no matter what. Even if no one else does, you believe. Have faith and you'll get through. Well, hey, thanks so much for joining us uh, on Life Sports today. I Ho hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure you tune in next week. we got some great things happening, a special guest. We're going to have a lot of fun next week. Hope you tune in.
Folks, there's no other way but to be all in. Either he's Lord of all or he is not Lord at all. And you can experience the real and authentic, true life change that only God can provide to humanity. See, when we truly encounter Jesus and purpose to know him and follow his teachings, hashtag life change will occur. 